Hey, and welcome back to SV Ramalana. Thanks again for joining us. A couple of months ago, we walked you through our marine sanitation device and how we uh, take care of it and maintain it. Lately, we've been getting some really low amps on the display, and I'm thinking there might be a problem with some calcification on the plates. Uh, we've done a couple of different acid treatments now over the last few months, and it doesn't seem to be solving the problem. Got plenty of salt flow, everything's flowing well. Uh, we're going through salt like crazy, but it's just not uh, creating the chemical reaction that we need. I guess how this thing works is uh, a high electrical current takes the salt water and creates hypochloric acid. And what that does is that treats the waste and then we pitch it overboard. And it's a perfectly legal marine sanitation device, U.S. Coast Guard approved, approved for use in most waterways and coastal areas. In the meantime, we've been using this thing for, we installed it like four or five years ago. It works pretty darn good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing apart now and see what's up. Let's get started. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, disconnected the ground wire, turned off the breaker, a lot of clean water, flush through the system. This thing sits about eight or 10 inches below the discharge through hole. So right here is a bypass. So there's two separate chambers. There's a mixing and macerator, and then they got a plug on top. See? Okay, that comes out pretty easy. There's the plug. This is the central uh, bypass. Like it goes from one chamber to the next chamber, and this thing is the guy in between. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the shot back and vacuum out as much as I can. All right, not too shabby. Let's see what this thing looks like. Let's pull it up. Uh, there's still a little bit of liquid inside. All right, let's pull this thing and see what it looks like. Uh, looks pretty gross. Got to do some cleaning. Okay, so there's some, there is some calcium scale. Potentially, that could be part of the problem. It's not as bad as I thought it was, but you do get some some of the chunkage, kind of similar to what we pulled out when we did the uh, pump. Actually, this thing, you know, for four or five years old, I think, doesn't look that bad. Eck! Let's chip away at this calcified crud. There's like a lot of something down here. Man, it is cemented in there really good. This is about as clean as I can get it. And I think it's actually pretty darn good. Got all the plates cleaned up. Uh, did a little wipe down with acid and then rinsed it with clean water just to make sure. Just to be safe. About ready to put this thing back together and see what it does. So the lid has a gasket. I'm going to uh, put some silicone grease on it and then set the gasket. Set the plate, everything, flip it on top, bolt everything back down, and then be done with it. See what happens. So I got the gasket greased. I got all the bolts installed. Plate's clean. Guide this thing down. There's a little slot that the plates go in. There we go. So here's the wiring harness with the junction block. Put that in. All right. So we got this thing put back together. Everything's inside the box. Uh, one thing I did was add this black strap here with a buckle, kind of like the battery hold downs. Just keep this thing from shifting in case something goes wrong. Now I'll just hook up the plumbing and finish putting the wires back together. All right, so uh, breaker's back on, all the wires are hooked up, all the plumbing's hooked up. I already ran a bunch of water through the system because it was dry, I needed to fill the tank back up. You definitely don't want to uh, definitely don't want to run it uh, without any water in the system. So I pushed a whole lot of water through, switched back over from the holding tank back to the electroscan for direct overboard discharge. Now it's time to give it a try. So I'm gonna pump pump a bunch of water through here and hit the go button and see what happens. 
takes about 20 pumps to get uh, everything from the toilet bowl into the treatment chamber. Pre-treatment voltage 100%. Looking good there. The thing actually sounds a little quieter even. Okay, so the amps are kind of going off the charts. Everything stabilizes. Anything over 14 is good. And we are at 15, 14. It's just like a brand new system. Sweet. So now that I got this thing strapped down, it sure is a lot, it seems to run a lot quieter. So I got a giant mess to clean up, put some panels back together, put the cushions in place, and that is it. So yeah, I guess it was scale and crud on the, uh, on the electrode plate. It didn't seem like there was too much, but all in all, I guess it made a big difference. So that's about it for this one. Uh, if you have an ElectroScan unit and it's giving you fits, uh, maybe try taking it apart and look inside. You might be surprised what you find. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'll keep you posted on other upcoming projects and boat maintenance and things like that. Thanks, my little helper right here. Yeah, you can follow us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and our own website, svramalon.com.